I and my colleague, Marge Vila, found a number of additional anomalous structures at Sidonia UFO diaries. And we have shown, using the most modern computer imaging processing available, the Martian Revelation, mysterious pictures, that these UFO diaries, Sidonia structures, show clear evidence of being highly geometric. Did they mean for us to get a hold of that UFO diary? Mysterious pictures, technology, or were we meant to get it to, to sort of jump our Martian revelation? Technology. In simple terms, advanced civilization creates things, things like buildings, cities, pyramids, that are inescapably composed of repeating geometric patterns. And the face on Mars, its nearby pyramids, the entire Cydonia complex is simply brimming with this elegant repeating geometric structure. The fundamental mathematical relationships communicated by the structures at Sidonia are now eerily replicated in the Giza complex here on Earth, including... Yeah, uh, or it could be a, another token, my friend, a Trojan horse. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this... And uh, that gets into, you know, satanic kind of things. That's what, yeah. It's a Trojan horse, uh, you know, which side of the force gave it to us. <laughs> exactly, you know. I don't know. Richard Hoagland has the good answers for how, how many years we've been using UFO diaries. Horse and buggy, then all of a sudden a jumping Martian revelation. Mysterious pictures. Industry, someone learned how to do an internal combustion engine and uh, to put wheels to it anyway. I mean, these things have been around, but probably for the extreme rich around the places. But with no roads, you know, what much could they do? So progress, you know, took off once, uh, what, industry saw a potential in it. So well, that's where we are it. seeing this technology today. There's a lot of pe potential <laughs> in that technology. Richard Hoagland is now directly linked to that Sidonia UFO diaries on Mars. That in itself is now the single most striking statement of intelligence on Mars that we have found. But when you think about it, Gary, we pretty much were the same world for thousands upon thousands of years with just small differences. Okay, we got the wheel, and then, you know, we refined the wheel and got steam and a few things. But all of a sudden, between 1947 and 2006, we have hard. made the biggest technological jump in history to the point to where all of us are barely even keeping up. Right. Each one of our own industries of technology is running pad. One minute we're in VHS, the next minute we're in DVD. One minute we're in analog, the next minute we're in digital. I mean, it's just getting ahead of all of it. Hoagland and his team have gone even further. They've conducted detailed imaging analyses of the face on Mars. And we know that Mars is not capable of supporting intelligent life as we know it. So the idea of this being a creation of intelligence was uh, not even considered by NASA. Despite all of this, when the image was first recorded, it was labeled head. And uh, now that escalated uh, another final point to what is yet to come, which is... Yeah, the point is, uh, and I think the reason we're talking tonight is that we live in very, very interesting times. More yes. interesting than probably any other time in history. You're definitely correct there. And if you are a believer, anyway, think about it. And you put it out there as whether it's a part of the piece of the puzzle that has to be looked at in order to come to conclusions, right? Right. 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 But it is a very interesting phenomenon, very interesting situation. And it's certainly getting all of our attention what's going on there right now. And it's certainly getting all of our attention, what's going on there right now. Located millions of space miles apart, contain amazing visual and symbolic similarities. Our team's thinking is that that face is our face, or what we once were. That in itself is now the single most striking statement of intelligence on UFO diaries. The region designated as Sidonia that we have found. 
So in a sense, someday we may discover there are in the UFO diaries in the region designated as Sidonia alone five face on Mars mysterious pictures. Each member, each representative, each senator has their own perspective when they're actually answerable to their constituents. So in a sense, someday we may discover that we, in fact, were the Martians. Each member, each representative, each senator has their own perspective when they're actually answerable to their constituents. That in itself is now the single most striking statement of intelligence on Mars that we have found. Richard Hoagland's study team may have uncovered proof that one of our oldest relics was not built by human hands. A long-awaited proof that there once was intelligent life on another world, would it not seem reasonable that we try to get a closer look at the Sidonia region of Mars? It would seem that some global catastrophe forced the Martian population to abandon their world and move to another, to the Earth. The point is, they're capturing the attention of the whole world, yeah. and years ago, documents were written that said this would occur and that they would capture the attention of the whole world. When the images that were transmitted back to Earth began to be analyzed, this surface feature in the region designated as Sidonia caught the attention of people all over the Earth. They found a document in the archives of NASA. Richard Hoagland. A member of our team of intelligence. Which uh, is here in Washington, D.C. We choose to go to the moon. Landing a manned spacecraft on the moon. And buttress. Before the end of the 1960s. 2008. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. And this document, which was written some 30 years ago, discusses the possible discovery at some point in the future uh, of artifacts by unmanned NASA probes. Richard Hoagland, a member of our team of intelligence. Then it discusses how might such information, under what circumstances, be presented to or withheld from the public. So what you're saying? Is some facet of this is some facet of this still in operation, and is it the reason why NASA has not taken the detailed studies of myself and my colleagues seriously for up to 17 years on the question of artifacts on Mars, which this document predicted someday might be found? That's pretty phenomenal stuff. That's a lot of broken glass. Right. You obviously have helped people become aware of that. Then the powers that be, they would follow and try. So is the times we are in now a part of that original scene, or has it shifted by things that have been trying to be done to stop that from happening? And maybe, well, you see where I'm going here. i got to tell you, my personal belief is that everything is going to go down as written. i got to tell you, my personal belief is that everything is going to go down as written. There are people who say yes, there are people who say no. It mm -hmm. really ultimately, science depends on the experiments and the documents. My personal belief is that everything is going to go down as written. There are people who say yes, there are people who say no. It really ultimately, science depends on the experiments and the documents. Farrell has unearthed some documents, but even those documents, when it comes to the actual technologies that they were involved in, these really cutting-edge technologies, are very ambiguous. They can be interpreted in several ways. Now, I think in part it's because the good stuff has not been released yet, or it hasn't even been found yet. Right. There are mysterious deaths associated with some of this documentation. For instance, at the Martian Revelation died suddenly and mysteriously. Apparently, Mars Revealer was heading to find in mines these buried documents from these secret black ops Nazi high-tech projects. UFO diaries. So until you get the documentation, Mars Revealer, it's all rumor. And remember, so is the idea maybe Mars Revealer found the documents and then the Martian revelation was was killed or he didn't find them and he was killed because he was looking he wasn't going to give up